Hi there, it's Mary with Mary Stampin' Cafe. Thanks so much for stopping in at my recorded and uploaded Saturday Stamping video. Um, I've been having a series, if you've been watching, um, on my favorite retiring Stampin' Up! products. And my goodness, from what I've been sharing, it's obviously others' favorites too because so many of those things are now discontinued. But I have more to share. And then um, my blog links below, I've been sharing... Um, and expanding on what I share in my Saturday Stampin' video. So you can check that out. It'll be on embellishments and ribbons and those those um, five or six things that I think everybody needs. But that's not about today. Today I'm also sharing more about stamp sets and bundles and things that I really, really like. And so let me switch over. And there we are. So today I'm gonna talk to you about the fabulous, so refreshing stamp set and dies. Now, the stamp set is so much fun because it's a two-step stamping where you can go ahead and fill your glass with lemonade, you can fill your pitcher with oh, drinks, you can actually do your flowers and put the flowers in the, the um, pitcher as well. It's just a great set. It's got dies to die cut all of those fun um, images out. Just fantastic. And I love, I love the little picnic cloth here. It's so great. So, what I want to let you know is that this bundle is retiring and it's $49.50 for this bundle. The thing that's interesting is the dies are on sale for $24.80. So, if you're thinking that you would like to get this bundle, I would purchase the stamp set and the dies separately because you get a bigger discount than the 10% bundled price because of the dies on sale. So. That's all I'm saying. Get those deals where you can. So the So Refreshing. The other thing that I just think is so much fun and coordinates so well together with the So Refreshing bundle is the Sweet Citrus Hybrid Embossing Folder. Now what that means is the embossing folder, which is great. You can't see that real well. I don't know if that helps. That helps a little bit. All of the fun citrus and the leaves and branches. But then there is a die set that coordinates with that and what you can do is you can line up you can line up where you need to go let me find it let me find it there it is you can lay it in just like that with your paper and run it through and it will die cut out those raised images that you've done with the, the embossing folder I just think that is a great, great feature of these hybrid embossing um, folders. This is also on sale. Sorry, let me get it back in here. And it does have a stamp set that it coordinates with, the Sweet Citrus stamp set. Um, I'm just using the embossing folder, the hybrid, and that's on sale for $16.40. So this hybrid embossing folder, it, they're usually like 28 to 30 some dollars for the hybrid embossing folder with the dies. On sale for $16.80 and the stamp set, the Sweet Citrus stamp set, is on sale for $18.40. I just wanted to share that price with you on the stamp set even though I'm not using it today. Okay, so let's get creating. I just love playing around with the different images and then punching them out. It gives so much texture and depth to your card. So Refreshing Bundle and the Sweet Citrus Hybrid Embossing Folder. Another thing that I'm using today is the Glorious Gingham Designer Series Paper Stack. Look at the beautiful colors, the Berry Burst, Pecan Pie, Lemon Lime Twist, Blueberry Bushel, just great, great gingham. <laughs> That's why they called it Glorious Gingham. This, this, um, stack of designer series paper is on sale. It is one of the discontinuing retiring items for $8.40. That's a great, great deal. All right, let's get this card going. So I have today a piece of blueberry bushel at five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. I went ahead with a piece of um, basic white and I put it through the embossing folder. I just decided to use the Sweet Citrus embossing folder. I'm not using the die part of it. Um, the reason being that these fruits are awfully large to pair with my little um, 
pitcher of lemonade. So it makes a great, great textured background for my card. So that was five and a quarter by four. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put that right down on the card. I'm gonna use my liquid glue for this. That's the one tip I always share, is that when you use these 3D embossing folders, it's important to make sure they adhere to your card well. And I find that the liquid glue gets down in those nooks and crannies and it will adhere really great. So let's go ahead and put that down. I love how these citrus fruits just pop right off the, the card like that. Isn't that beautiful? All right. And I have a piece of uh, five by three and three quarter for the inside. I decided to have it go a little bit smaller just because I like that blueberry bushel border. So I'm gonna have it just a little smaller than my normal layer. Then I took a piece of the blueberry bushel color of the gingham and I cut it to three and a half by three. And that's gonna come, I have it over here I believe, like so. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. And again, using my liquid glue, because we have all of those raised up citrus parts. We've got a lot of different dimensions and that glue will get down into all those good little nooks and crannies. And that's just gonna come to one side. And I like that it doesn't go all the way over the card. I like that we get all of that beautiful border of the embossing. It just adds more interest as well to the card. Okay. Another thing I have is I have a two and three quarter circle punched piece of the vellum basics. Now the vellum cardstock is um, discontinued. It was one that I talked about and it is discontinued now, but there is the vellum basics, which is really great. And this is the piece that has the greenery on it and you can see it really well. This package of 12 by 12 vellum basics is 40% off at $6. And there are, there are three designs and I've been using them in my um, Facebook Lives and in my Saturday stamping because I just love them. This has the polka dots and then here is the leaf. And then we have the, I've actually punched out circles because I use them quite a bit and we have the diagonal so you get two pieces of each and it's on sale for six dollars during the month of April so that is great so I'm gonna be using gunk on my glass mat I'm gonna be using this and I have a um, scallop and contour already dyed already um, die cut of the scallop rectangle that's also stitched. It is great. It is one of those die sets that you need to have in your crafting area. That was, I think, one of my first, first blogs and video about retiring products that you must have in your stash. So that is gonna sit like so. And then this little guy is gonna come in just like that. Now you're thinking to yourself, well, that's kind of interesting, huh? It's a little different, but I love, I love all the texture that's happening here. This little guy might go on the inside of the card, we'll see. All right, so let's get into our stamping of our fantastic images. All right, we have the Parakeet Party, which is retiring. I have Daffodil Delight, I have Lemon Lolly, and then the Blueberry Bushel. So Blueberry Bushel is gonna be our outline stamp. So I'm gonna grab the picture. Oh, what a bright color, I love it. And I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that right here. Oh, so nice. Then I'm gonna grab the, I need the cup next, the outline of the cup. I'm gonna get our outline things going. And I think I'm gonna do two glasses. Oop. So what I like about photopolymers, you can look to see if you have all your ink on there. So two glasses. And then I'm gonna change my color. 
because I need my leaves. So we're going to grab our outline of our leaves. And I'm going to stamp those right there. Bright and fun. And then I'm going to get the inside of the leaves and I'm going to stamp off because I don't want I don't want to lose the outline of the leaves. So there we go. So you can really still see the outline the outline and all of the veins in the leaves. So you just stamp off that inside and it's good to go. So I have a couple of those, but I'm going to go ahead and do again. This time I'm going to do the inside of the leaves. And then I'll go ahead and show you doing the outline second. So people have different preferences, how they feel they can line things up with the double stamping, with that two-step stamping. So I find that I can do the outline better. I get shadows and then I can't quite see where I am. And when you see that, see how I'm off on that? And I don't want to do that again. So anyway, so that's just to share with you how that, that difference can be. All right, well, let's go ahead and fill in. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to use Lemon Lolly or Daffodil Delight for the inside of my images. My lemonade needs to be bright, but I don't know if that Lemon Lolly is going to show enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp on the back of my inside of my card and see how that color. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? Let me try with the Daffodil Delight. I always like to have a couple of that color group out so I can see how, and I didn't clean it because Daffodil Delight is a darker color. And when I bring it back over here and I take a look, I really feel like that Lemon Lolly is just brighter. It pops more, especially with that blueberry bushel. And so that's what I would use. And so that's what I'm going to use. All right. So we need our lemon lolly for our lemonade in our pitcher and the glasses. That's what I love about this. You can fill your pitcher up. Uh, let's see. Lemon lolly. There we go. And then I can fill my glasses up. So much fun. I love two-step stamping. I'm not a big coloring person, but I love when I can do two-step stamping because things just line up so perfectly. Push down, push down, push down, and hold. You want that ink to absorb into that car sock. And look at how fun that is. <coughs> Excuse me. Now let's do the same thing for our little glasses. Okay, the inside of the glass. I'm going to stamp off just to make sure I don't have any residue on my photopolymer. So come right in. Because our outline is so dark, it's very forgiving. Ooh, I got some blueberry bushel on my stamp pad. The corner, the block head. What I really like, if you can see it, you've got kind of the um, sunlight reflecting on, on the... Uh, glasses. So much fun. All right. Well, I will take care of that later. Oh, goodness, that's terrible. Okay, now we also are going to have some lemons. Now this is where I'm going to pull in. I'm going to pull in my Daffodil Delight. I love that. And then I'm going to fill it in with the lemon lolly. Oh, my poor lemon lolly pad. Oh. All right. Okay, what is going on here? There it is. I had it upside down. And you know it right away with photopolymer when you're trying to line up your two step stamping. You, you can tell. So look at that great differentiation I got there. 
That's my Daffodil Delight and then the Lemon Lolly. I need another one of those. Now I'll go ahead and do it again to show you that difference. I'll start with the inside and then I'll do the outline with the Daffodil Delight. Again, I find doing the outline is so much easier for me to see. So let's see if I can get it to work. It's just I don't have any of that dark. Oh, and that time, they're pretty darn good, aren't they? All right, so let's go ahead. And because I want a lot of dimension, these are going to be getting cut out. So let's grab our mini stamp and cut emboss. All of these die cut. Let's grab those dies. All right. Get my icky one at the bottom. All right. Let's go ahead and we will get hopefully several things at once. Maybe should have some washi tape, but I don't right now. So what I love is Stampin' Up! does give you two dies for the glasses. Maybe stamped them too close together. I don't think so, though. I think that's great. All right, now, ooh, that lemon. That lemon, lemon, lemon. And here's our lemon. So I'll go ahead and I'll get this first lemon. Turn it around to get it right. There we are. And then, notice we have these here. These are additional dies to cut out um, from different colored cardstocks and things to get some strawberries, to get other leaves. But here is the leaf that is going to give us two leaves at once. Love that. All right. Take one more little look and I think we're good. And now the trick is to have your plate forward, lay it straight down, so nothing moves <laughs> and then roll it through. I'm brave, I know, I'm pretty brave. We'll see what happens here. All right, oh, dun da da da, dun da da da. Let's see how it goes, let's see how it goes. There's my little leaves, I got two of them. My two glasses, pretty good. And I notice that it's not perfect, but I can take and trim with my scissor if I need to, if I think it's too much. Got my little lemons here, exciting. Now the only things we need now is we're gonna do another leaf and we're going to do our pitcher. Now our leaf is quite up there quite high. I don't know that I can get those, but I'll try. We can do them all at the same time here. Now notice you have two pictures. This is a uh, builder picture die. <clears throat> you can do that, say, out of a cardstock that you're going to put the flowers into. So that's what I love about this particular bundle <coughs> is that you've got lots of crafting um, opportunities. My picture is a little bit warped here from doing bunches and bunches of them. But that's what I love about it. I can just bend it back, not a problem. Now what's gonna happen when I cut out this leaf, pair of leaves, remember I didn't line it up real well when I did this, the stamping of doing the fill first and then. Um, okay, all right. Where'd my lemons go? Aha, here it is. <laughs> um, but when you die cut it out, it won't be a problem. And so I'll get myself another pair of lemons. Okay, remember we have to, let's move this up. We need this a little bit forward so it will go through easily. And here we go. 
I'm holding on to my picture, but I can already see that it's shifted a slight little bit. I guess I'm just a little lazy to pull out my washi tape and all that. I just find that I can do a little quick trim with it and it's all good. Oh my gosh, these little lemons are so cute. I just love them. All right, so that is it for our die cutting. I could have had that all done beforehand, but you need to see it going on. So when you get yours, you know how to use them, right? <laughs> all right, so let's set that back over there. Got all my cute little parts and pieces. Love it. All right, so let's bring everything in. Let me grab my scissors to see what I think I need to do here a little bit. And that's, that's the one thing. It's okay if you're not quite right on there. You can always take the scissors, come around, and take off that little bit of extra that's maybe bothering your eye. It's got a nice little border on it where the die was, so you know kind of where you can trim. There we go, look how great that looks. And then my glasses, I noticed this one had quite a bit of border, so I'm just gonna come around, go round it on the corner and just come straight down, just taking the wee bit off, come and make that corner rounded. There we go looks like it was die cut perfectly then and this one too I think I'll shave just a little bit off you won't really notice it because it's going to be sitting on that white scalloped rectangle so so maybe this little fussy work is not really hmm. now this little leaf remember this is the one that I kind of missed so that is not gonna be used. I'm gonna go ahead and put that aside. It just doesn't look like it's gonna work, but that's okay. Look at all the fun colors there. All right, so let's move this out. I've got lots of things here. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna put raise this up or let it sit because then this is gonna be here and then my these things are going to be raised up. So I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these down. I'm going to continue to use my liquid glue, but because the rectangle goes above and below, I'm just going to let it be glued here in the center part. And it's going to come right about here, even on the top and bottom there. There we are. And now for this, I'm going to just do a little bit of my tape and I'm just going to do right in the center. I just love the texture that this gives. I'm trying to decide how far out I want it, but I think I want it kind of right there. All right, so now I need to think about, I was going to have, I was thinking about having my um, lemonade jar sitting and that could be a great compliment there, but this same color bothers me. So let's take a look if I pull in another gingham color, and I kind of do like that. So let me go ahead and just snip a piece off. And I'm gonna make it, let's just do half an inch. A little half an inch, we'll see how that goes. So this little gingham piece could come right in here. This could then kind of sit on it. Let's see what I think of that. We could have our cups. Our lemons and our greens. Let's see. I love sitting here and playing with figuring out my layout. It's so fun. I think 
think I like that. I don't know that I'll use another lemon. I think it might just be like that. And then I'll have my sentiment. I like it. Okay, so let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I like the little berry burst there. It gives a fun little something. Now I'm thinking that I might like to put something else in the lemonade. I could do the ice cubes. The ice cubes are really cute. But I wouldn't want to do the ice cubes. All right. I'm going to do a little bit, just another little tick of glue right here on this guy. I really want it to be down. All right. So then my lemonade is going to stand up. Yeah, there's really cute little ice cubes that you can pop into there. I was kind of thinking about just what color would I use for that. It'd have to be something really, really light for them little ice cubes. So cute. You also have the lemons. Maybe I'll stamp a couple lemons in it. Give it a little more, a little more something. Let's do a little lemon. Why not? Here's my lemon. You could also turn it into a lime. Let me just grab a block. Now the question is, what color do I make the lemon? Uh-huh. Do I make the lemon daffodil delight or will that be too dark? Let me just kind of see here. Nope, I think it needs to be that. Yeah, I just I just stamp it on the back of it. It's so fun. So we'll do one like there. I'm going to do another one kind of just like that. And a little cluster of them. How's that? Oh, there we go. A little cluster of lemons. So fun. Now I know they would be floating. All right, let's get this dimensioned. That little guy right there. Oh, I got one more here. And then let's do a couple of others borders here. Maybe that one right there. Okay. We'll put this one down. So, last chance items, I believe, go through, I want to say April 30th, but I actually think it goes to like May, um, the be very beginning of May. My one little edge of my lemon will get lifted up. So let's go ahead and get just a little piece. Because so it's going to sit like this. But this doesn't need a dimensional because then it'll be double dimensioned and that will look weird. It'll be like a big angle. And then I'll just give a tiny little bit of glue so the lemon adheres. That's just going to sit like, oh, I got to take the back off. <laughs> that's just going to sit like so and then I'll just put a little dollop of glue on the front of the leaf right at the bottom and then I'll just kind of slip it up under here to then stick on the lemon and just let that kind of dry and then that'll be just like so. The other thing I can do is add another, like so, right on the top of that lemon to give it a little bit even more dimension. And then I need to slip my cups. I don't know if I'll use both cups, we'll see. I was going to have one of the cups slipped under here like so. so let's do that and with that I'm just going to do a little line of glue I find when I'm slipping images under something it's easier to use my liquid glue to then get it going so that one's going to sit just like so and that's going to help that vellum circle 
There we go. How cute is that? Now you can't just have one glass because this is about friendship. So this glass is going to come in and it's going to sit just like so on that line. Um, it's important when you are putting physical kind of objects like this into your card making because what you really need to make sure you're doing is to make it look like those images are on something. They're not just floating. So this this gingham line that I put here really helps to do that. It's, it, it makes it look like they're sitting. Love it. I'm going to grab my Wink of Stella because you know what? Oh, come on. Our lemonade needs to sparkle. And our lemons need a little sparkle and our lemons in the lemonade need to sparkle. Absolutely. What I like about Wink Stella, it kind of it kind of gives something a little bit deeper tone as well. And there's all that sparkle happening. I love it. Now, let's go ahead and think about our sentiment and our embellishments, of course. Now, in the stamp set, we've got Time spent together is the sweetest, happiest birthday, and thank you kindly. And for me, I'm going to do time spent together is the sweetest, and that's going to go on the inside of the card. I'm not going to put a sentiment. Well, I might put a little hello right there. That would be fun. Now, where is my... Oh, here it is. Remember, I was doing my practicing of what color would work better. <laughs> oh, that's, you know what? You don't need extra cardstock. Just flip something over, use that back side to test out something. That's totally fine. All right, time spent together is the sweetest. I just recently spent some time with my daughter in Nebraska. Not enough time, but this would be great send to her. I'm going to stamp off over here just to make sure. There's a lot of words here. You want to make sure they are right. Again, your photopolymer, you get to see through. Time spent together is the sweetest. I think so. Oh, I could actually send this to Marlene in Nampa, Idaho. I got to meet her in person for the first time on my trip. And then what I'm going to do is I have that extra lemon. I'm going to put that right on the inside. And then we'll do embellishing and we will be ready to go. My lemon, my little leaf. little liquid glue. What I like to do when you're going to stick um, something underneath that die cut thing, by just using the liquid glue, it's easy to bring up the, because this is going to kind of go just right like that. And I think, do I want it under? No, I'm going to have it on top. So my whole thing about just doing the center gluing <laughs> doesn't apply. <laughs> That's okay. time spent together is the sweetest. All right, let's grab our gems. Now I've got the um, adhesive back shiny sequins, which are an online exclusive, and oftentimes they are out of stock. <laughs> so although they're an online exclusive and not retiring, they are wonderful. Look at that beautiful color there, or the fun color here. That would be so great on there. Or I have the, the green which, just to know which color I want to pull out. Do I want to pull that red out more? Do I want to pull out? Since there's a lot of yellow, I won't use that. So I think I'll use this color here. And we will put some embellishments on. I'll put one over here. I'll put one down right here. And I'm going to put one more...
just down kitty corner here together. There we are. So we have our beautiful, so refreshing pitcher and glasses and our lemons, that beautiful sweet citrus hybrid and bossing folder in the background, blueberry bushel here. Now remember, the last chance sale runs through April. Um, this particular bundle, again, purchase them separately because the dyes are on sale, which makes that better than 10% for the bundle. The sweet citrus embossing folder, this one's on a good sale. Like I said, these usually run $33, and it's on sale for $16.40. And the stamp set that coordinates is on sale for $18. Now, <laughs> during the month of April, um, when you order with me, you have a chance at Mystery Hostess, and you get double cafe coins, but you can check out the links below. I do want to talk to you about a few embellishments that I think you all need. Now, one of them that I think you all need are the basics. The basic embellishments have the white, the vanilla, the black, and I think a brown. Um, you can't go wrong with any of those. I also think you need the cork rounds. Let me show you, oh my gosh. My blog that I share will talk about the embellishments, but these, oh, where are my corks? The corks are in the January to April mini, and they are fabulous. But here are our classic matte dots. Everybody needs the classic matte dots. There's the white, the vanilla, there's a gray, and then the black. Those are fabulous. You need those. They are retiring. And these are the cork rounds. I really like these. These are great for masculine cards, for nature type cards. They're just wonderful. They're not too high. They're actually quite flat more flat than some of our other rounded embellishments, but they are retiring and those are gonna just go quick. Those are a couple must-have embellishments. I also think when it comes to ribbon, the thinner the ribbon, the better. I think you need any of those basic ribbons that are just nice and thin. I love the in-color ones with all the sparkle. Oh, those are so great. Anyway, let me know what you think of my card today. I had a lot of fun with this. I love the two-step stamping and I love all the fun dimension that this card got. You almost don't even notice that vellum circle there. It just gives that little bit of something. So it's not just that white on the white. Yes, the vellum circle is white, I know that, but the leaf um, pattern in there just gives a little something. So there you are today, you guys. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to click and follow so that you don't miss out on any of my um, my videos, and I do lots of different giveaways at different times. My social media things are down there for Facebook and Instagram. I do Facebook Live every Wednesday at 6 o'clock on my Stampin' Cafe um, Stampin' Spot page. That is the host code there. If there's a desire to get on some of these of my favorite retiring Stampin' Up! products. So be sure to check out the blog. You have to come back and check out that blog. I post it on Monday. And until next time, happy Stampin'.